Hello. My name is Michael. Today we are going to talk about how you can drag and drop. That's how you can drag sequence from the Adobe Premiere Pro into a media encoder. And the number two is also in case your encoder does not open automatically when you ask the Premiere Pro to send to the encoder to the render queue how you can bail yourself out from this Adobe problem so let's get started now this is my sequence this is my sequence now I want to have them render so on your keyboard you can press ctrl plus m or you go to file export media make sure that your sequence is enabled now this is what I want to render giving the name now you will discover that the adobe media encoder does not come up normally it ought to have come up automatically so it doesn't come up that means you can only render using direct export without queue and when you have two sequences or two files to render then it will not help so what should we do let's go and open media encoder just go and open your media encoder i'm using premiere pro 2015 so this is the adobe media encoder 2015 now you see that we have opened the adobe media encoder now let's drag our sequence let's drag this sequence in. so what do you see now we can start trending or go further let's go and do the settings so now you can change we start now sequence we're working on work area and your directory then okay then the next thing is we are ready to start it has started already so uh, another way let's stop this one another way around you can also make it this way and say add premiere pro sequences by this time you open and you go to the directory where you save the original project and you can access it in that way but I think that drag and drop is faster and better than looking for Adobe Premiere Pro uh, sequences but now you can open the Adobe Coda directly then drag the sequence right from Adobe and drop it to media encoder and there you start exporting that's okay hope this training is useful so thank for watching god bless you